Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking and answering one question I have found in ROS answers, which is this one. Uh, but before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy. Our online academy where you, find, where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now yes, let's start with the video. So, so let's read first of all the question. It says Move it Perception and Optom Observer. And he says, hello, I would like to use Movit Perception with a pre-generated Optomap. I am aware of the Occupancy Map Monitor Procrat Optomap Updater Sensor plugin. Uh, of Movit, which also works well. The only issue is that the Octomap is generated at runtime. Is there a way to either save and later load the Octomap or listen to Octomap top topic from the Octomap server? Okay, so let's try to reproduce an example of this. In fact, here in, in ROSDS, let's go to ROSDS as always. I have already generated a ROSject that will help me with this. It's this one, it's called Load Octomap. So let's open this, this project. Open project. Let's wait a few moments until the whole environment is loaded. All right, here we have it. So let's see what we have here. Let me open a shell and open an IDE. And yeah, let me show you basically what we have here at this point. So basically, here in the simulation workspace, what I have is a simulation of, of a universal robot with a with a with a gripper, a gripper hand from Shadow Robotics. So basically, this is for launching the simulation. So let me do it uh, right now. It's this launch file, Shadow Gazebo main launch. So this will start the simulation in a few moments. Let's leave it there loading. And apart from the simulation workspace, what I have here in the CatKin workspace uh, are two things. First, I have a movie package, a basic movie package that I have generated, very basic, to control the 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 arm, the manipulator, and then I have this load Octoma package, which is the key of this of this uh, video, and that we are going to check right in a moment. But first of all, let's do a quick test of uh, simple movie without anything. So let's wait a few moments until the simulation properly loads. All right, so here it is starting to load. Great, so meanwhile, let me come here to the Calkin workspace. Okay, so let's source this. All right, and here we have our simulation uh, loading. So here what we are going to do now is to launch uh, the movie package I have created, uh, my robot planning execution, it's the launch file. Yeah, there we are. So let's start move it here. Here we have the simulation with the with the manipulator right there. And now let's open a graphical tools window in order to visualize RVs properly. Okay, let's enter here, wait a few seconds until until move it is loaded, move it RVs. All right, let me open another shell meanwhile because I will need it in order to relocate the move it window when it loads.
Okay, there we have it. So now let me just grab this command from here very quickly. As you can see here, um, the movie the screen appears misplaced, so I'm going to relocate it using this command. All right, there we go. So now this has been properly placed, and as you can see here, I have a uh, movie there with movie there with, with my package. Okay, there we have it. Whoops, too far away. Let's come a bit closer. Okay, so yeah, here we have our our arm in Mubit without any Octomap uh, loaded, so only our manipulator, which is okay right now. So yeah, let's close this for now. And what we are going to do now is to see how we are going to load the Octomap. So let's come back here to the IDE. And so, uh, so yeah, until now we have launched the simulation using the package we had here in the simulation workspace. We have launched uh, Mubit using this package. So the only thing remaining here is this load Octomap package. And what does this? Basically this uh, does two things. First of all, it uh, using the Octomap server and the Octomap server node, it is publishing an Octomap which is located in this path here in Home User Simulator Simulation Workspace SRC and it's called smalloctomap.bt. Yeah, so here I have placed as well this file, this Octomap file, and with this command, with the, using the Octomap server, what I'm doing here is to publish this, uh, this Octomap into a topic that is called Octomap full. Yeah? Then what I'm doing here is to uh, start to execute this program here, the octoload.py, which is this program I have here, yeah? And let's, let's have a look at this program, which is written in Python, so it's easy to understand, and it's, uh, it's quite simple. So basically what I'm doing here is uh, I have a class, this octohandler class, which the constructor, and here what I'm doing is to subscribe to this octomap full topic, which is the topic, remember, where here I am publishing the data of this Octomap, yeah? So I am subscribing to this topic, the Octomap full topic, and then I am creating uh, two publishers. One for this topic, the move group monitored planning a scene, and for the planning a scene, yeah? These two topics are the ones that Mubit uses in order to get the planning a scene, yeah? So I am creating two publishers for uh, each of these topics. Then what I'm doing here is to basically publish into these two topics a message, which is this message here, the map message, which at this point is known, so it's empty, we don't have nothing, yeah? But we are going to see now in this callback how we fill this message, yeah? So basically, we create a subscriber for the Octomap full topic and we create two publishers for the move group monitor planning a scene topic and for the planning a scene topic. Yeah? And then we publish this message here, uh, this map message, into this topic and this topic, which remember are the ones that Mubit uses in order to get the scene. Yeah? Then, for the subscriber, we have a callback, this CV, which we have defined here. And what are we doing here? So basically what we are doing here is to... We generate a planning scene world, uh, an instance of this message, yeah? And then here, basically, we are filling the stamp with the time. We are filling the frame ID, which is a map in this case. And finally, we are uh, filling the Octomap variable here with the message. And what is this message? this message? This message is basically the Octomap that we are publishing into the Octomap full topic. Yeah? So this message is the one that uh, Mubit uses. Let's copy it here. So you can see here the documentation and everything. So basically, this uh, this message is the message that Mubit uses 
in order to uh, build the planning scene, yeah? Then within this message, we need to fill the timestamp, the frame ID in which this Octomap will be published, and finally the Octomap, yeah? Which we are getting here from the Octomap full uh, topic, yeah? Then basically we, we set the origin of this Octomap to uh, position X and orientation, and then uh, we, we generate another message, which is planning a scene in this case. And here, inside this planning a scene message, we are placing the PSW that we have just generated here with the timestamp, the frame, and the Octomap message. So we are putting this inside the planning a scene message. And then we are filling this PS message, as you can see here, to the map message topic, yeah? So basically this, uh, sorry, the uh, map message variable of the class, attribute in this case, yeah? So this map message that we are using here, remember, to publish into those two topics, basically, whoops, sorry, basically contains the octomap that we are publishing into this topic. Yeah, which is this Octomap here, the small Octomap BT. Yeah, so let's recap a little bit because this is uh, a lot of information. So first of all, uh, we have uh, an Octomap saved in this file, this small Octomap BT. Then we are publishing this Octomap into the Octomap full topic. Yeah, and then we are subscribing to this topic and we are publishing this this Octomap into these two topics, move group monitoring planning a scene and uh, planning a scene, which then move it will use these topics in order to build its a scene. Yeah, more or less. This is the quick summary. Yeah, so let's try it. Let's see if this works. So let me come here and launch this. So well, let me actually open another shell here. And here I'm going to do a launch of the of this launch file, the load octomap that we have reviewing, we have been reviewing right now. So load octomap .launch. There we are. So let's execute this uh, launch command and start everything, all the process that we have just just explained it. All right. As you can see here, we have the octoload, the octoload, which is the program that we have just seen here, the octoload.py, and also we have the this octomap server node, which is the one here that is getting this file and it's publishing into the octomap full topic. Yeah. So, okay, this is running. So now, for instance, if we do a ROST topic list, we can find this, um, this Octomap full topic, for instance, which is the one where we are getting the Octomap information. And we could also, well, the move it, uh, the move it topics not yet, because we have not started uh, move it yet. So let's do that. We have uh, started our process, publishing the Octomap. So now let's run move it. Again, there we go. And now I will explain another small detail about move it that we have to take into account. I will show right now when, okay, so, <clears throat> Let's wait until MoveIt fully loads. There it goes. Okay, so here is, it is. Let's uh, re re resize this so that we can visualize it better. There we go. And now in a few moments here we will see We will see our robot appear and the Octomap appear as well. Yeah? 
Okay, so here we have our arm, the robotic arm, and here we have the Octamap. Yeah? Excellent. So let me get a bit far away. So basically this is the Octomap, which is a room. Yeah? And yeah, so as you can see, we have uh, published a preloaded, a pre-saved Octomap into Movit, into the Movit scene. Yeah? Uh, okay, and another thing that you need to take into account, which is the, sla the last one, is that as you can see, this uh, Octomap, it's using the map frame, yeah? But this map frame is unknown to Movit. So because of this, inside the Movit package, inside the launch file I am executing, which is this one, my robot planning execution launch, here I, ha I have placed a, a static transform publisher from this map frame to the world frame. Yeah, which uh, at zero 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 zero, so it will it will the frames will be at the exact same position, but we need to generate this transform so that uh, Mobit knows how to get into this map uh, frame where we are publishing the Octomap. Yeah, so this is the only detail that I wanted to explain. So you will need to add this static transform publisher to your to your Mobit uh, package in order to uh, generate this transform between map and the world frame in this case, which is the one I am using. In your case, it could be another one, but usually it's world. But yeah, you need to t have this uh, into account, yeah? Because you are publishing this oct uh, Octomap into the map frame, so you need to tell somehow, uh, move it about this map frame, yeah? So yeah, that's all. I hope it has helped you to answer your question. I will share all this code so that you can check it and test it and review it, whatever. I will check it with you. I will save this project and share and share it with you so that you can review all this. And yeah, that's all for this video. See you in the next video. Goodbye.